and welcome to Two Awesome Women. In continuation of Silly Week, I decided to help you survive a horror movie. Tip number one, avoid being black. For some reason, African Americans tend to die during these situations. Usually they're first as well. Either they get shot in the face, or stabbed, or even burned. So, if you can prevent it, try not to be an African American in a horror movie. Tip number two, avoid sounds. If you hear a strange sound, such as creaking of a floor or footsteps, maybe you should walk the other way. Don't trust those crazy instincts you may have that make you want to go follow that sound. You, sir or ma'am, need to go the opposite direction as soon as possible. Tip 3. If you're in a home that has an upstairs or a basement, try to avoid both those places. You need to stay on level ground so that you can escape. If you're in a basement, where are you going to go? If you're upstairs, the only way to get out is down. So please, if you're in a horror film, please stay on the main level so you'll be safe. Tip number four. Please do not go to any place that's undisclosed or abandoned. If your friend happens to have an uncle who owns a cabin and you've never been there and the uncle hasn't been seen for three years, you probably shouldn't go there either. Tip number five. Make sure that everyone that you're around is someone that you're close to and know very well. In most horror movies, the person that no one really knows well ends up being the killer. Make sure when you're going to hang out with your friends and party that you are very well aware of who you're with. Tip number six, and this is for the ladies. If you find a boy who's mysterious, but really sexy and cute, but everyone else seems to find him to be weird, he's not just misunderstood. He can kill you and wear your skin on his face. Tip number seven, don't be a jerk. If you're a jerk, asshole, dick, or just plain mean, there's a huge possibility that you're going to be murdered first, and no one's going to feel sorry for you. If you're the sweet, innocent girl who everyone would wave to in the morning and you'd wave back, chances are you'll survive. And if you die, at least there'll be flowers for you. Number eight, come up with a plan. As long as you have a game plan, there is a huge chance for your survival. If you're just winging it and hoping for the best, well, you might be on the news in the morning. Tip number nine, do not be drunk or drugged or in a romantic relationship where you feel like you need to make love in terrible situations. Make sure your mind is in the right place, focused on survival. Tip number 10, make sure to show your friends this video so they have a chance to survive. Good luck out there. My name's Whitley. Thanks for watching Two Awesome Women. I think you're awesome and I'll see you next video. Bye. Offer yourself as a sacrifice. When your friend tries to escape and you fall, always say, Go without me! Save yourself! You don't really have to mean it, but then they might feel for you and save you anyway.